With this method, you'll be able to become fluent and sound a whole lot more native in your target language. Instead of being somebody who studies a language for years and hardly learns anything. Learn the right words. Languages are made up of a shocking number of words. English, for example, has between 600,000 to 1 million words. It's crazy, really. Luckily, you don't need to learn anywhere near that amount of words to become proficient in the language, or any language, really. Consider this. The top 100 words make up about 50% of language text. And the top 1,000 words make up about 90%. Wow. By focus on learning these top words first, you can eliminate hours spent studying words that you really don't need to become proficient in a language. I'm so happy. <laughs> Set language learning goals. Let's do an exercise really quickly. Think about the possibility of learning a brand new language. Most of you are gonna feel a bit overwhelmed. Am I right? At least that's how it is for me. There are words to learn, grammar points to memorize, and tons of different ways to study. There is a certain magic to goal setting though. When you set goals, it narrows your focus. Science shows that you are actually 42% more likely to achieve your goals when you just write them down. Now that's the type of science that I like to hear. Use these guidelines to get the most out of your goals. Focus on specific tangible outcomes. Set short-term goals. Challenge yourself, but not too much. And make sure to write down your goals. Someone has to make sure this dock stays off limits to civilians. It's a fine goal, to be sure, but it seems to me that a, a ship like that makes this one here a bit superfluous, really. Study smart. One of the best ways to learn new vocabulary words is to use good old flashcards. Flashcards are great because they focus on specific individual words and give you a chance to test yourself on how well you know it, which really helps you memorize new information. Some more great ways to start integrating new words into your vocabulary though, besides flashcards, are visualize and vocalize. Humans are very visual creatures, so try to really visualize the words that you're learning. Imagine in your head the image of what that word represents and then say it out loud. This helps connect the concepts and can improve memorization. Gesture. The brain learns better when you use physical movement while learning new words. Take advantage of this by gesturing when you're learning all your new words. It might sound weird, but it really does help connect to your brain and your mind a lot. For example, if you want to learn the Korean word for shoes, shimbal, Say the word while you pretend to put on a shoe or when you actually put on a shoe. <laughs> By the way, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so you can let us know. Start using the language all day, every day. As a beginner, it can be overwhelming to just even imagine using your target language all hours of the day. Hola. Uh, hola. Um... Uh, Bonjour. Moi, Ciao. No hablo. Inglese, konnichiwa, nama nama. But it's actually not as difficult as it seems. There are many easy and very fun ways to incorporate your target language into your everyday life. First, make use of every moment you have to learn new vocabulary words. For example, take flashcards with you wherever you go. You can study them on your commute to work or while you're waiting for something. Just flip them out of your bag and start studying. When you start to feel tired, which is totally normal, you can switch from actively learning, like studying your flashcards, to something more passive, something that you would normally do in your native language, in your target language. For example, this could mean watching a TV show or a movie in your target language instead of just in your native language. You can search on YouTube or Google or use Fluent You. 
Fool Me Wait at You turns all sorts of media from movies, TV shows, ads, inspirational speeches, TED Talks, and more into language learning lessons. So if you can't travel anywhere that speaks your target language, but you still want to get that real full-on immersion, Fluent You is my recommendation because it really will surround you with authentic native speakers through the media that it shows you. Be sure to check it out if you're interested. I have left a link in the description below where you can get two weeks absolutely free. Let me know how it went for you. I, I really think it'll help. Now, some of you may be asking, how am I supposed to learn anything if I'm watching something and I don't understand anything of what's being talked about? I don't know. And that's a valid question. But the goal here isn't to understand everything that's being spoken. It's really just familiarizing yourself with the sounds, structures, and authenticity of the language. To really immerse yourself in it, that's going to help you so much in the long run. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seek out real life practice. Some of the best language learning happens in real life situations, particularly if you're kind of forced to use your target language and can't use your native language at all. The easiest way to get real life experiences and practice is to, of course, travel abroad. Because going abroad allows you to experience real everyday life, talking to native speakers all the time in your target language. Everything's written in your target language, all directions, everyone you talk to, it's a very immersive experience. But even without traveling abroad, you can still immerse yourself in a lot of language learning experiences. You can still get that immersion. Try these options. Meet with a language partner weekly or bi-weekly. You can do this very easily in person or through apps like Tandem or Hi Native. This can help you with your pronunciation, give you a chance to practice speaking your target language, and also ask a native speaker any questions you might have while learning. Join a conversation club, either online or in your school or city. Volunteer with immigrants in your city. You can find opportunities to volunteer through sites like Volunteer match or idealist or just directly contact organizations that deal with immigrants who are speaking your target language visit businesses where people primarily speak your target language perhaps there's a Mexican restaurant nearby that serves amazing food and gives you a chance to practice your Spanish speaking skills or perhaps you can practice your Chinese or Korean at a Chinese or Korean market nearby as you're shopping for your groceries learn about the culture. Understanding a language is about more than understanding words on a page. It's important to learn about the culture and history associated with these words. Knowing something about a country or culture's history, current events, religious beliefs, and common customs can help you understand a lot about what people say and do. Researchers have found that children learn to read in a foreign language better when they understand the context and culture behind what they're reading. So, as you begin to study that target language of yours, be sure to really immerse yourself in the culture as well and look up cultural customs, traditions, beliefs, etc. It's going to help you a lot. Don't feel like it's a waste of time, guys. I'm not kidding. Even if it involves reading or watching something that's in your native language, it's still beneficial. It will help you enormously and very much keep you from making embarrassing or rude gestures or mistakes. Test yourself. Knowing that you plan to take a test is a great motivator when it comes to studying your target language. Try to regularly test yourself in little ways. If you're learning for a textbook, take practice tests as you go along, or there's a lot of practice tests you can take on the computer as well. You can just search something up, take a little test there and see how much you're learning and improving. Online practice tests can be found in almost any language, including French, Spanish, Japanese, and German. And I've also taken many topic practice tests for Korean, which is a language that I study. There's also standardized tests. When you plan to take a standardized test within a few months or a year after you start a language, that's gonna help you get the right goals and motivation to study hard. 
Plus, having those results can help prove to yourself that you actually learn and also what you need to improve on. So it's a win-win situation. And you can also prove your language level to potential employers as well. So that's another plus. The ACTful OPI test is popular in many language learning circles and widely respected. It tests oral proficiency and provides a score that ranks your level anywhere from novice low to superior. Some languages also have a standardized test specific to that language, such as the JLPT for Japanese or the HSK for Chinese, or as I previously mentioned, the TOPIC for Korean. Ask teachers or professionals who know your target language what tests they recommend specifically for you. Have fun. We tend to learn a language best when we're enjoying ourselves. So it's important to have fun during your language learning journey. Playing games is a great way to practice a language and learn at the same time. Games take advantage of our natural competitiveness and can help us practice our language skills even when we feel tired. You can also focus your learning on different hobbies that you find enjoyable. If you like to cook, for example, you can study those vocabulary words in your target language related to cooking, baking, stuff like that. You can also watch instructional cooking videos or even talk to a chef in that target language. Or if you're learning French, for example, and are fascinated with politics, you can learn about French politics. Learn words used to describe political processes, and immerse yourself in articles about political issues in French. Make friends with people who speak your target language. When I was studying Korean, I was abroad in Korea and made the best friends. And it was so fun to be able to talk to them in Korean and get their responses. I learned so much slang and really was able to get real life good practice with them. And it was a ton of fun as well. If you want to review everything that I talked about in this video, be sure to download the free Fluent U PDF in the description below. It's got everything that I talked about in this video, plus more. Now that you've made it to the end of this video, I want you to go check out this video right over there. It will tell you all of the hacks that you need to learning any language with YouTube. It's got some amazing tips and I really think that you'll enjoy it. So go check it out, I'll see you over there.